Hello and welcome to the Young Orthopod and today we'll discuss how to read an orthopedic radiograph. Interpreting and reporting a radiograph in a methodical and scientific manner is essential to convey the message properly. In this video, we will focus mainly on the trauma radiographs. To every trauma radiograph that you see, you must always apply the ABCS approach. Here, A stands for adequacy, B for bones, C stands for cartilage and S is for soft tissues. Let's see each of these one by one. To decide whether a radiograph is of adequate quality or not, always follow the rule of two. There should be at least two views. Usually, the AP and lateral views are adequate, but in some specific cases, additional projections may be required. The joint above and below must be included in the radiograph. All radiographs should have adequate penetration. That means the bones and soft tissues should be easily and clearly differentiated. Examine the entire length of the bone for fracture lines or distortions. Cartilage applies to examine the joint spaces on the radiograph. Widening of the joint spaces indicates ligamentous injury or fractures. One must not miss the soft tissue swelling and joint diffusions. These can be signs of occult fractures. The fracture description on a trauma radiograph must include anatomic location of fracture, fracture pattern, and the relationship of fracture fragments. While describing the precise anatomic location of the fracture, first step is to find out if it is left or right sided bone. This can be done by reading the marker on the radiograph and confirmed by clinical examination of the patient. The next step is to identify the involved bone. Then comes the exact location of the fracture. Long bone fractures can be described as to be located in the proximal, diaphyseal or in the distal part of the bone. The proximal and distal segments are defined by a square based on the widest part of the bone. Proximal and distal fractures may be extra-articular or intra-articular. Also, for many fractures, the terms like head, neck or base fracture may be used for description. Fracture pattern describes the type of fracture line. The different fracture patterns include transverse fracture, when the fracture line is almost perpendicular to the long axis of the bone. Oblique fracture When the fracture line makes an acute angle with the long axis of the bone. Spiral fracture The fracture line runs spirally in more than one plane. Comminuted fracture This is a fracture with multiple fragments. Segmental fracture In this type, there are two fractures in one bone but at different levels. Impacted fracture A fracture in which the end of the bone is driven into the contiguous metaphyseal region without displacement. Depressed fracture A form of an impacted fracture that involves the articular surface of the bone and results in joint incongruity. Avulsion fracture A fracture in which tendon or ligament is pulled away from the bone carrying a bone fragment with it. Alignment is the relationship in the longitudinal axis of one bone to another. Fracture and dislocations may affect the normal alignment on the radiograph. Fracture angulation is the decrease of angulation of the distal fragment in relation to the proximal fragment. The distal fragment can be in varus or valgus angulation and also in flexion or extension and rotation. Apposition is the amount of end-to-end -end contact of the fracture fragments. Bayonet apposition means overlap of fracture fragments in the longitudinal axis. Distraction is the displacement in the longitudinal axis of the bones. The fracture can also be medially or laterally displaced depending on the position of the distal fragment. Subluxation or dislocation of the joint is present if there is disruption of normal relationship of articular surfaces. 
one must also note the direction of the dislocation. So by following this simple approach, one can easily describe any trauma radiograph in a scientific way without missing out any essential details. That's all for now on basic trauma radiology. If you want more such videos, please let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description. We will be back with another video in orthopedics. See you soon.